So this is the second part of example 14. I'd missed this example out before. I have put how to do it in the comments, but I thought it would be worth going through this example fully. So we've got two sine two theta is equal to cos two theta. Now I may notice on this one that if I divide both sides by cos, I'll get sine over cos. So maybe I can use tan. So if we look at the identity for tan, tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. But actually, this symbol should be uh, what we call um, an identity. And what this means is that this um, equation here is true for all values of theta. So true for all values of theta. So it doesn't matter the size of the angle. So I could have not just theta in these places, I could have two theta there, or three theta, or four theta, or a half theta, or two fifths theta. As long as these angles are the same, this identity holds true. So if I divide both sides of this by cos two theta, like this, then my next row of working, I'll have two sine theta, two theta over cos two theta equals cos two theta over cos two theta. Now, this bit is just going to become one. And then sine two theta over cos two theta becomes tan two theta. So you've got two theta there and two theta there. It's true for all values. So that's going to become tan two theta. So I'll have two lots of tan two theta is equal to one. The next step is we'll divide both sides by two. So we'll have tan two theta equals a half. Then to work out what two theta is, two theta is going to equal the tan inverse of a half. So we're basically doing a tan inverse for both sides. That equals two theta. So we can work out the principle of first value of um, the uh, solutions or for the angle and we did a tan inverse of a half and on our calculators we get 26.56505 and it carries on like that so maybe what i'll do i'll round this to maybe two decimal places so i'll, I'll write this as two theta equals 26.57 and i'll put that to 2dp so now we want to find the other solutions and we find the other solutions by drawing a cast diagram. So what you don't do at this point is divide this by two. We use our cast diagrams to find all the other values of two theta. So here's our cast diagram here. We're going to mark on this first principal solution. Principal just means first. And that is going to be in this part of the cast diagram. And this is the 26.57, my rounded answer. Okay, now we know that we make this into a cross like this. And my principal solution landed in this part of the cast diagram, uh, which tells me that all of the things are positive. Now we're dealing with an equation that's tan. So we want to find where else is tan positive, and it's positive over here in this part of the cast diagram. So we'll highlight that. So we are interested in working out this angle here, 26.57, or 180 plus 26.57. Because of this two theta, this means that we go around the cast diagram twice, go around cast diagram twice so when i go around like this i'm not going to stop when i get back here which would be 360 i keep going until i've done two full turns that's what the two tells me if this was three here i'd go around three times if they said half i just go around half a time if it said a quarter i'll just go around a quarter or uh, of the way around this cast diagram this will give me all the other values of two theta. So I've already got 26.57. The next 
angle I get is this one here, which is 180 plus 26.57. So I'll write that down, 180 plus 26.57. The next one, when I go round to here, now by the time I've got one full turn, this now becomes 360. So this angle, when I go around my second turn, is going to be 360 plus 26.57. So I'll write that down. 360 plus 26.57. And then the last angle I'm going to encounter on my second time around is going to be this one, because there aren't going to be any more until um, in my, my second full turn. That will take me up to 720, my second turn. So I just need to work out what I need to add to um this angle what is this angle here so this will be 360 450 this one will be 540 it's the second time around it's basically 360 plus 180 so that last angle that i encounter on my second time round is 540 plus 26.57 so what we're going to do now is actually work out what these things are and then we'll work out what our thetas are. So what's our two thetas? 26.57 is the first one. Then 180 plus 26.57. That becomes 206.57. The next one will be 360 plus 26.57. So that becomes 386.57. And then the last one is going to be that 540 plus 26.57. So that becomes 566.57. We're now ready to work out theta, which means we're now going to divide all of these by two. So once we've done that, we'll get 13.3. Now I'm only giving these answers to one decimal place because the previous answers were only correct to two decimal places. They were rounded to two decimal places. So since I'm dividing by two, it wouldn't really be correct to give these to two decimal places. And in fact, when you give angle solutions to equations, uh, three significant figures or uh, one decimal place is fine. Um, so then the next one, 200, uh, 206.57 divided by two becomes 103.3. Then the 386 bit divided by 2 becomes 193.3. And then the last one, the 283 or 566 divided by 2 becomes 283.3. So these are our final solutions. Now if you spot any other missing questions or any other mistakes, let me know and I'll do my best to correct them.